Good day and welcome. So today I finally chose the Lumen team. If you go to the Bootstrap watch, Boots watch, I chose the Lumen team and that is um, how mine now looks. Then I added some icons to make things look really cool. So you can just take your time to make your, um, adjust your style. It's really, really cool. All right. So now let's log in. If you click on sign in remember once you have your database set up in raw php you have a default sign in that will work for you it's called um you have default user default user at gmail.com then there is default admin there's default admin if you want to log in as admin so we're gonna just log in as a user default user at gmail.com then the password is just the password p p a S S W O R D. Then we'll click sign up. Okay, why is it showing sign up? Alright, um, since it's showing sign up, let's go and fix it. If we go to our our resources, go to our resources and we go to the sign in and the sign in button should show sign in. Sign in. Alright. There we are. So the main thing we're gonna do here is to uh, create uh, a skill, a way for people that are signed in to view a skill. So, but the first thing you have to see is that when you click on posts add, that's for new posts. You see that the user can add new posts. And if we look at posts add, we'll see that it basically points to the post controller and the add method. So, but just to be sure to know how to find this you just go to the routes file then we look for post slash add so all we have here is post slash add and it's pointing to the add function in the post controller so which means if you want to control what happens you go to the post controller post controller and then the add function that's the add function in post controller that's what controls this form so but first of all we're going to reduce the size of the contents so what we're going to do is to go to the post view it's inside our resources and we're looking for posts folder and we have add we're looking for the text area and um, the text area has rows 15 so we can just reduce it to 10 so it looks cool so if we refresh we have this okay so it looks cool right now so the next thing we're going to do is to look at the browse around. We we'll look at the options here. I added these um, icons by myself. So in your own case, you could just go to font or some and add icons to make things look cool. And um, we can just view the user's profile if we click profile. As you can see, this is the user's profile. There's just one icon here. So you can add more to the person's profile so from the profile you can view posts you can edit the profile because you're the user only the user and the admin can edit this profile these things come by default for which raw php framework all right and um, here's where the user can edit everything they have so if you click on menu and click on my post you see all posts by this particular user so far this user has made no posts and uh, it's not listed here so these are basically the things the user can do for himself you can just add more menu here remember that this is in the navigation and um, the next thing we're going to do is to log in as admin so we click on log out so we're going to try and log in as an admin the admin login is um, default admin and the password is password which is p-a-s-s-w-r-d you can change it when you sign in so we're logged in as an admin right now as you can see there is an extra menu that shows up which is the admin menu if we click on it we'll see how admin gets to control everything which is admin can see all users that are signed up as you can see so far there are only two users in this system and admin can manage the users you can edit and delete the profiles if you click on delete it gives you a nice little warning before you have before you can be able to accept whether you want to delete this is a confirmation and um, same thing with posts admin can see all posts 
and of course manage the post and that means you can see all roles which is very important a user might sign up everybody that signs up shows up as a common user but then admin can choose to um, elevate the person as a moderator or something else all right so admin can manage these fields and it's advisable it's not advisable to delete any of them it should be remain like this if you need new roles just create a new role then if you click on this you'll see all the users that are under this role so far we don't have a moderator on this platform ever we don't have it listed there but if you clicked on any other one you will see them and of course you can edit roles list roles and delete from there so that is how it works with um, raw php these are things that come by default and as usual if you want to edit this page go to your routes file and look for the route pointing to this so thank you very much in the next video we'll see how we can add skills to our application so that people can list their skills and clients can be able to find them according to skills thank you